are you? Good morning. Tuanze na salamu kwanza. Ladies first, how are you? I'm fine. You look splendid. Mm? Thank you. Kwani mliambia na guest wote wa in the morning leo mshairi. Si hata mimi mgeniambia memo. What's your good name? My name is Mary Auma. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher. Mm -hmm. Pure teacher. Mm -hmm. I teach class 6. Mm -hmm. Kiswahili, Siari, Social Studies. So you knew Barakoa ni mask kabla sisi tukuje kujua. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> on a COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Like it's okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. What is your good name? My name is Matthew mm -hmm. Paul and Lori. Mm -hmm. I'm a policy student, final year, mm -hmm. Kenyatta University. Okay. And also I'm an administrator by nature. Oh, I see that. Yeah, what's up, I'm admin. <laughs> 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 okay, I see you. What I want us to do is we're going to go through a couple of things that we've seen on social media. But you, what you don't know, fun fact, is this topic was generated because of this gentleman here on the set today. And he's going to give us a bit of his story as we, as we chip in and, and see what's happening. And maybe even give our two cents. If it was us, just no. Alright, so tell us about your story. What happened? Why are we talking about giving up today or not giving up? Yeah, giving up is not in my vocabulary because mm -hmm. uh, my story is just about determination and perseverance. Mm -hmm. So I am Mr. Perseverance. No well, way. Well. Yes. So it, uh, it happened that uh, I sat for KCP nine times mm -hmm. in different primary school. Started sitting, I think, when I was 13 and completing when I was 27 years old in a period of 14 good years. What? Hey, I think. Just, just come again. Yeah. What? <laughs> Let me repeat. I sat for KCP nine times uh -huh. in different primary school, in different years, because of lack of fee. I started doing KCP, I think, when I was 13, then completing when I was in 27, and in a period of 14 good years, joining from, from one at 28 years. I will talk to me. How are you feeling about the story? very sad. Eh, what? <coughs> Wait, what's a cause to Pumue, guys? Have you heard that story? You've heard the story? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just highlight <coughs> keywords. Alianza calls, cal sit for, I'm even lost for words, guys. Okay, let's try English. <laughs> he started sitting for KCP at 13 years you. old. 14 years later, even one more than when he started, up on the Malaysia. How did you find even the courage? As in, <clears throat> when you do something a little bit out of the ordinary, people will t talk, they'll come for you, they'll say, oh, on a way you I mean, you can't say, you can't say, you me personally, if you ask me, if you ask me, I'm a samosa, if you ask me. But that's not what you did, and why? My determin determination. Sorry, just use the mic, yeah. Oh, the determination I had in, to accomplish the eight for system, at least to have something in hand to be able to give back to the community and uplift my background. Since I was coming from very poor background, I happened to be introduced to manual work when I was casual work, casual level when I was class three. So at class three, you can know the age, minus repeating anything. Wow. So I started doing manual work in Bomet. So now I speak two languages. I wow. speak the law. Mm -hmm. I speak Kipsages fluently. Wow. So you are this official one like Kiswahili and English. Mm -hmm. So my determination here, we were down in life, living in some grass type house, mm -hmm. a family of 13. I was the ninth born and introduced to casual level at class three. Mm -hmm. So that one psyched me a lot. Um, I'm quite sure you became very responsible at a very young age. Yes, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, in nature, I'm a, an admi I told you I'm an administrator. I, I can nature. see, Aki. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you, teacher, and, and maybe if we're just going to derive from his story, 
how do you feel teaching someone? Let's be too zakawida to semeata ni sabu ama kitu kama yu. One plus one. You told this child one plus one is two. Akaenda home. Akaenda kacheza. Akarudi. One plus one is now five. How do you find the patience to keep explaining to someone one thing? That patient. Sindio. Ina kuanga ngumu. It's very hard. Keep on repeating. One plus one is two. Then atakuambia. Tisha sijaelewa. Nimesema one plus one is two. Sijaelewa. Keep on repeating. Yana una feel like you're going to give up. But ukiangale future umu toto pia. It's on your hands. Ina kupea yon nguvu ya kuendelea badu kumfu. Kumfunza aendelea tera. Kugive up na eni raisi. Tena kumfunza kila temu unakuja. Kiswahili, ngeili ya awa. Jana niluafunza ngeili ya awa. Nani ya meelewa? Tisha mimu iskuelewa ngeili ya awa. Tena unazidi tana kuenelea. Una feel like sasa hawa toto. Tafanya nini. But ukiangalia that I need to teach them. Itabidi tena uendele. Iyo unangalia tu future. Toto unasema. Itabidi tu nimeendele. Ikiangalia tu kunye wametoka. Izo tutemi wote ni motoka ni manza. No maybe ni manza na class 4. Now I'm teaching them. I've taught them class five, class six. I feel like it's all going to grow. Ah, chat with a video to me and Elia now. Oh, that's so sweet. How would you have handled maybe if he was in your class? Maybe let's say fast forward. If right now he was in your class, no, no more Germany and a struggle. I mean, sad for Casey. There are people who are refusing to read because they don't want. Yeah. But there's someone who is sitting for Casey B nine times. Fourteen years. How would you speak life into such a child? Like, us give up, baby. Say ati ati when him jinga. It's just that circumstances zimekata. But how would you be encouraging him or her? That situation. I've never been in that situation, but if. Hata kuanguka tu cut maze. Ushayo na mtuwa na melia jwa meanguka exam. They cannot imagine. And then imagine keeping maybe that one subject. Maybe kakiswaili maybe nanipiga chenga. Maybe kiswaili I'm always the last, always the last, always the last. But najaribu jama, najaribu. So how would you talk to someone about that? Be just teaching them. No, mbe tu. Ila yu finabidi tu muendele yu tu. Mbona ni endele kama napata tu mazero sufuri. Ni sasa demu una sasa demu kukaribu na yeye umuachili ni kushinda tu na yeye una mungeleisha then atona ticha na sema the right thing acha tu ni endele vinye ticha na sema ana una me ticha is encouraging me a lot let me just follow what she's saying no no so for me like I'm teaching what to allow ko in ghetto and you understand ghetto vile wako. Hakuna mwenye atai, ala kubali kuripeat. Kasema, fadhali hata niende ni uze. Hatha futisai kuna hizi genge tolu. Kila mtu mi develop talent. Hata wale hawajuku imba. Ala sema tu, now I can sing, now I can sing. Now I'm true from class 4. Ala joku imba those genge tolu. So yu kitu ita mbiskaja seme. Ah, mbani kitu wale mshara kuna kitu wale mshara. Niambe na mine za imba po genge tolu. Na nipate tu, mapasa zangu wa raka. Ninge lake. YouTube ni pate likes zangu. So yuk to now they feel like well working here YouTube watapata likes wa pate pesa. So to ona ah mister kikusikiza teacha. So ni hard. You have to talk to them. Talk you talk you talk some sense to them. It's very hard kabisa. But you try. Lazima uongeleshe. Is there someone who encouraged you when you were sitting for KCP nine times? Kuna mtu alikushika mkono kwaambia hii baba us give up. Yes, uh, I used to read a story like this of Reverend Koske, who started class one at the age of 20 years old. The father to Amy Koske. Mm -hmm. Also, besides that also, uh, the teachers, uh, the primary teachers, they are loving. I can say that they are that kind of relationship of which they advise you that, hey, gentlemen, you have a brain. You can do better than us. Mm -hmm. So don't give up. God will open the doors for you. So most of the time, most of my friends used to be the primary teachers, my teachers actually, because the friends, well, my friends were fading away. You have passed, you and have been gone. admitted to a national school, Aww. you have not attended that national school, they go find other friends somewhere, you are left alone. Mm -hmm. So I was going to those people who can encourage me. 
siku anaenda kwa wenye watanichekelea because unajua kwa society vitu kama hizo zinapatikana watu kama hao pia wanapatikana because si kila mtu anaelewa huyu anarudia kwa sababu gani mimi nilikuwa ninarudia kwa sababu ya kukosa karo nili salewa kwa jamii fukara awangeweza hata ku, kutu, kutulea because tulikuwa watoto wengi sana nikwambia tulikuwa watu kumi na tatu na mimi nilikuwa mtoto wa tisa kwa familia yetu so ile katika harakati ya kutaguzana na watu nikaona nieri nifumilie nifike mahali kwa elimu juu mimi nilikuwa nilielewa ya kwamba elimu ni akiba. Mhm. Mm Nikisapata elimu naisafanya kitu na naweza sidia wenye wajiwaezi katika jamii. So hiyo ndio ilikuwa changamoto yangu. That was what was make keeping me going. I'm about even to draw a diagram guys. Are you ready? Okay, you won't see it, but it was just going to be for me to understand what's happening here in the story. So here you are, mm, working very hard trying your best to pass this KCAC and continue with your life. Yes. Ah, yeah. Forces, outside forces, ni maybe eh, sasa ni challenges apo kwa karo, isn't yes. And then you have members of society, also another challenge, jo, wan, wana kujudge, yes. na wana kusengenya, na wana kucheka. Eh, sasa, ayo pia ili nifanya, nifanya KCP kwa siule tafauti, tafauti. Yu ya kwanza nilifanya bamet, oh. ngine ni, ya pili nikafanya rongo, hmm. ya tatu nikaenda kitere, ya hine nitaenda Sony Sugar, ya tano nikaenda Rangwe Junior Academy, ya sita nikaenda uh, Agoro Sare, Aldorebi Junior, Agape Academy, We. alafu finally nikaenda mm -hmm. Oriri Primary. Nilifanya kwa imaine utafauti mm -hmm. kwa sababu ile katika hali ya kuchekelewa kwa katika jamii. Kutu wanakuona huyu ni mkubwa na anakarama ni mjinga nini. So to avoid that humiliation, it was making me to go to a new environment in such a way that when they try to learn about you, you have already gone. Confuse your enemies. Help me understand. How? For example, uh -huh. I'm teaching class six. And you know there are, some stu there are some people who are not doing work. They're just there. Hmm. So there's a day I, was, I, I give them homework. Uh, social study homework. Mm -hmm. Then the two didn't do their their notorious. So I decided to punish these pupils. Mm -hmm. Let me take them to class five. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they will be working in class five for the whole of one week. Wow. And they were like, so I took them to class five. Two day, one day they were there with the class five pupils, but what one our checker? How no from Kuba we could class five from Kuja could repeat. I didn't tell them that they are going to be there in one for one week. No. Nilwambe mm. you will repeat class five for not doing my work. So in Kawa Peleko class five. Wakaka skia kwanza. The next day, wana che kurona, yeah yubu. That a yubu kawfanya. Oh kuja kwangu then they apologize and told me teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and then they started working like You're that. You are very smart. Yeah. So you are able. Uh -huh. You know, fanya wana, wana fanya kazi. Mm -hmm. Then I feel him. He I was, he can't re still. I'm repeating class eight. Then I'm delaying that same same school mm -hmm. that I fanya class eight. It is very embarrassing. More so, sana sana ata sisi weli mutaskia. Sasa um 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 wana funzi. And she never told me repeat and me repeat. Oh, no. so Some of the teachers ah. do not understand. Uh -huh. Walimu kwanza utakufanya ufili ku down. Some walimu, then ukienda wanafunzi, utasema, usi alikuwa hapa last year. Na kuna sisi tena hapa. Sasa you've joined the one who are in class 7 with you. So you are able, inakufanya like, you need to move in another school. In a new environment. Why are you supporting yourself when you're in school? All these times ulikuna repeat. Many a times I was supporting myself. Mm -hmm. Many a time I was supporting myself mm -hmm. because I had no one who, who could support me. Uh, I could work mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday, go do casual work or go do mjengo. Mm -hmm. Then when I go back to weekdays, lunchtime, I go to sugar plantation, sugar cane plantation. I take sugar Aww. cane. Evening I can take one donut and strong tea. Because by then, Mujengo was 100 per day. So you get 200 for the whole one week. And you know, 
you are also using this to buy an uh, exercise book or a pen. Mm -hmm. mm. What were you telling God? Let me just tell you this. Once life slapped me, I had things to tell the mm. Most High. I had things. What were you telling God? Anyway, say what I can say that gospel music also inspired and me. And you still stayed faithful to your faith? Yes. Gospel music. Because I used to listen to Mary Atieno numbers. You see, it is inspiring because it was also reducing stress and depression. When I have no one to nini, I just go to my workman, I put the, that cassette, I listen. Then I said tears, I refresh myself, I go back to class, I study. I used to be the best because as early as 2000, I was in Kanga High School for mm -hmm. one. I dropped in 2002 because no one support. Mm -hmm. After that, I KCP 203, 204. I went to Maseno school with 434 marks. 205, I was in Maseno school and 206. Those are impressive marks. I marks. dropped mm. again. 207, I walk around, I move around my road. I was doing a job, I was staying in those sides of Madare. Mm -hmm. I was staying in Madare, Madare Valley, Adar, Ajip, those sides. Mm. Sometime I went and stayed with my cousin in Dandora. So I could move right from. Uh, Na, na tembea kwenda ku, kufanya mjengo industrial area. So unajua unafanya mjengo, unawekwa, unabeba mawe, nzito. Unapeleka, unatusiwa. Na unaona wenzako mlikuwa nae already. Wengine wako university pursuing laws, wengine wako pursuing medicine, wengine wako sawa. So na, nikajiambia para, ni narudi shule. Tuwe ndiyo nikarudi ya goro sari. Nikafanya, nikaitua maranda, sikuenda. Tuonai, nikaitua kapsabe, sikuenda. Then at 2010, Maranda Sikwenda. 2011, when I went to Nairobi school, it was just a lot uh, wings to fly. Nilienda ni kapla. Nikienda, na kumbuka nikienda wings to fly. Kuna rafiki yangu wale nipeleka. So, to kingi and Dani, the panel, waka ulisa, who is the student? Nani wow. Nani nani nani. Mm. <laughs> then I said, I'm the student. Mm. So, in that we narrated all my story, the access cabinet, what I went through. Mm -hmm. Alafu, changamoto, nikapewa hiyo chance. Nikakuja hapa Nairobi School, patch. Hapa, karibu na kangemi. Mm. Nikafanya, nikasoma, nikavumilia. Despite the fact, uko pia kulikuwa na challenges. Mm -hmm. Because, unaona, the BOM, BOM teachers were younger than me by then. Mm -hmm. Eh, hey, you're being taught by your junior. <laughs> junior. And some of them couldn't understand why you were in that yeah. class. And they could treat you abnormally. And ignorance is a terrible thing. Inazafanya mtu wa kuchukia na ata kujui. Wee, hii story na ninguza mali. Guys, I have goosebumps. I don't know if the camera can, can, can show you. <laughs> but I have goosebumps. And <clears throat> I'm feeling like a lot of times also, comparison is the thief of joy. Ungejiambia ukai ufikirea watu wote wenye mlianza nao. Mali wako sai na mali we uko. Si unge jiambia tu ama nitulie tu. Ama ni relax tu. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a situation where you compared yourself or as a teacher you've seen someone comparing themselves to someone else? Yeah. Na anachoka tu immediately. Because our seasons are different. Mali mini mefikana kuomoka na we mali mefikana kuomoka mm -hmm. yako. It's very different. There's nothing we can do about it. Nivile tu tumeu, tumeumbwa. So give me an instance. Of, of, of comparison being, and let me start by giving you one. Social media. Hmm? Is yunge kuna kula hard time. Hard time, hard time, hard time. We, you see now technology has made it so so easy to connect with people, connect, because Kenya take up or see Kenya inaendelea. Like they'll only put happy moments, happy instances, eh, time kitu poi mefanyika. Miss Jana posts za kulia, ama oh my gosh, sijui, this has happened, this and this and this, yeah. So, hey, maybe guys, maybe we stop comparing. How did you stop comparing? How did you not compare? As in, you're a miracle, bro. You're a miracle. According to hmm. uh, counseling, you should not compare yourself with another You went person. through counseling? No, I didn't went through counseling, but now I know. You don't have to compare yourself uh -huh. with another person because you are unique on, in your own. Mm -hmm. 
Me, I'm unique. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Mm -hmm. I'm Matthew, our name, Lord. If I compare myself with a certain person who is lucky, mm -hmm. when you read the prayers of Jabez in the Bible. <gasps> I love that prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, the prayers of Jabez. Jabez went through difficulties because he was born in pain. Jabez means pain, you see. So because he prayed to God to expand his territory. Eh? So it was encouraging me to see that we mm -hmm. uh, in future establish nikona familia yangu jamii yangu mtu let's say unakuja kunitembelea unasema naenda kwa nyamlori mm -hmm. si naenda kwa brother ya nyamlo mm -hmm. nyamlori ni mimi so i was saying that ah uh, this is my problem this is the problem imeniingilia so ni jukumu langu nione vile nitatoa hii kitu ah uh, watu wamefanya tumefanya na yeye mtiani wameenda because their parents are working or their relatives are rich hiyo ni yao nyakati zao mm -hmm. wakati wangu pia utafika na nitafaulu had that encouragement sikutaka ni compare myself with other person because the moment i start comparing myself with mm -hmm. another person i get depressed mm -hmm. i get stressed mm -hmm. i get mental problem so i kept off comparing myself i kept off checking my friend who who, who ran away from me because i was unable to get scholarship or to get somebody to sponsor me or to pay for me school fee in time. Mm -hmm. Even now, uh, there are those who have been laid off at workplace because of COVID. Oof. There are those who are working and there were managers in big mm -hmm. hotel, big restaurant, they are doing well. And now they can even sell out their fees to, to, to get something to eat, you see? So there is a, at the appointed time, God will rescue those people. Don't compare yourself with another person. Just look for something you can do and trust in God. Utabarikiwa. Na later on, when you uta smile. Usijaribu kuona mwingine at yes, nini nini nini, once could depress, once could think about suicide. No, you are very special. Very special in in front of God. God has his timing. At the appointed time, you will get delivered. I don't understand. Like, I don't understand where, where your faith is coming from. I, it, it makes no sense. It yeah. makes no sense that someone has spent 14 years trying to sit and finish KCP. It, it makes no sense that that person is not encouraging you right now. And ne ya give up. It makes absolutely no sense. I don't give up just this morning alone. I don't know. Just si jenda jana this morning nikiamka nimeshukua nisha give up kitu kingine hapo but look at him look at him just eh Abu, let's just discuss this faith <laughs> eh let's discuss this faith and let's talk about sana sana kenyu mesema hapo kwa suicidal thoughts it's it's very easy to to want to you know, take away your own life because you know mm -hmm. your purpose is not happening. Maybe it's not even meant to be. Ah, atome choka and all those things. Abu, help me. Just talk kidogo ju. I mean, it's too kidogo na your story. Because akuna mtu kona spirit kama yoyo yako. Ah. Hmm. Muso una repeat, keep on repeating. Akuna. For example, even you can see in life. Someone had scored a 360 and he didn't expect that. He wanted 400 marks. What next? He'll commit suicide. I mean, that determination, that perseverance. Hakuna mtu wakonayo. Watu wanao sana ni wachache. Kupata mtu that atapasavia all those pain. Even me, I can't. Any? I just, ni ngumu sana. Yeah, mi na kuna. Yani, Miss Jit kupeleke wapi yaki. Eh. I mean, Alex, where, how, how, how? You know, it's science dictates that if I have had it a bit easier in my primary school because I sat for KCP once, eh? I should be not the one telling people not to mm -hmm. give up. Not the one who's had such hard life. Or how did you feel when you actually finished and got admitted and you finally finished yeah. high school? Tell me that feeling. How are you feeling? I'm telling you, in fact, first of all, I used to avoid uh, taking ID because, you know, the minister, mm -hmm. on a, uh, Professor Sam Onkeri, mm -hmm. introduced that uh, you have to use uh, birth certificate while registering. Yeah. So, you know, 
by taking my ID to ensure that hey, I used to change some change age whatever when I am registering because to to avoid struggling friction with the Ministry of Policy. So the day I was taken by equity, let's say the, during that panel I was given two thousand to go use for lunch. Wow. And the following day I used that money to rush to my home to apply for national ID. Wow. I was very excited. I thought mm -hmm. this is a blessing from God. Mm -hmm. I, it was a blessing. I was, and when I went to Nairobi school, uh, luckily enough, it seemed that somebody who had informed the the principal, Mr. T. Rob, and I was when I just joined there, being admitted. Oh, more, many teachers came and greeted me. I said, hey. and the way I was saying, oh, am I going to tell them? You, I'm here and uh, I'm just reporting to Form 1. Already the information was in Nairobi school when I, I was being admitted. Mm -hmm. And I felt at home. Mm -hmm. And was, I was attached to guiding and counseling teachers. Mm -hmm. And most of them are mothers. Mm -hmm. Mothers who have uh, taken care of many, many, many students, even their own ch children. Mm -hmm. So they were, they were close monitoring between me, performance, and my psychologically stability of my psychology and the, mm -hmm. my psychology. They used to talk to me, yani, one on one, mother and son talk, you see. Mm -hmm. They were calling me my son, you see. I lacked that uh, kind of love in my life because I was left, I told you I started doing uh, at class three mm -hmm. and I was left in those, in Drifty Valley when I was in class four. So I, I started staying alone right when I was class four to Tibet, mm. Mm, alone, where one time I used to, I spend in someone's bathroom, I reside in someone's bathroom, I'm going doing Django, coming back uh, with my clothes in polythene pack, spreading some of them, sleeping, very early in the morning I move out, move to the site, wait for Django time to reach, to do Django. And you still had that chance to continue with your KCC? KCP. KC by, by then, I was still struggling. With KCP. With KCP be, be, to get scholarship. So I'm saying, no, don't give up. In life, be determined, yeah. persevere, trust in God. At the appointed time, God will reward you abundantly. You know, maybe mm -hmm. education is not for me. Maybe I can be a business person. Maybe I can do other ventures. Had, had, did you ever sit and say, you know what, maybe education is not that important? Uh, no, because uh, you see, I started doing KCP when I was uh, in 1998, my first attempt. And you know, I struggled, I went to Kanga, I do, and I did also in 99. I was admitted to Kanga High School. I went to Kanga High School, then I dropped. So, you know, by then, the people who were in 1998, while me dropping, which means uh, they did KCSE in 2002. And I, that is when I, I dropped in 2001. So, uh, I could not drop because the people who joined uh, uh, artisan job like uh, Mjengo or started doing their life, some of them were already married or what. So, I was seeing if I dropped now and I have struggled and I have the brain, and that person has already carrying on his life because he, 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 they had no hard to go to, to proceed with uh, education. Mm -hmm. You see, I'll be psychologically disturbed. So, because I, I've said I want this education, I, and I have faith that let me get this education. Because in time, 98, 99. So because nimekuja hivi nika nini nikashindwa kulipa nilishindwa kulipa fee siku sindwa na kitu chenye ilikuwa inanishinda ni kukosa mm. karo kutoka kwa jamii fukara mm. na hakuna mwenye anakubali kukusaidia ju nilienda kwa maempi all this national school i was being admitted nilienda kwa watu kuomba ai so ni saidia i don't know I, one time i told one of my relatives he was mm. well up mm -hmm. kindly so ni saidia unilipie tu hii form four. Alafu the time hao watoto wako bado ni wadogo wakifika hivi hata mimi tutasaidiana. Yeah. 
kuna mwenye alikubali kwa sababu there's there's a saying that's been going around nothing is going to happen to those people who did not help you don't be bitter you see there he's very calm no i'm telling them because you, you we want to want to imagine that mtu kama kosa kusaidia atachomeka or they won't succeed in life they'll fail they'll sleep hungry nothing is going to happen those people who do not support you not now not tomorrow not next week nothing is going to happen to them and your peace is is fantastic mm -hmm. and maybe if i ask you is it okay to ask for help is it okay because when we want to give up when we feel like we're so close but so far away is it okay to ask for help because he asks for help yeah, do you think it's okay yeah it's okay to ask would for you help. encourage someone to ask for help yeah sometimes in life you feel like i want to give up for me this a time i felt like i want to give up mm -hmm. then i decided no i need to ask for help you know when you ask someone for help there's something that they're going not even money leave alone money mm. the words there's something they will tell you maybe if for example someone was going to give up they've heard from his story that's help mm -hmm. i don't think they will give up yeah. because his story is touching mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what are you going to do with this education now you're at university level what are you studying i'm doing bachelor of public policy and administration why that in particular? Okay, I already know you're administrator, yes. but, but why that in particular? Policy, you see, uh, in Kenya, or in most of the ministry, they are doing bad because of bad, poor policy making. Mm -hmm. When you do good policy in education, there is no child who will lack fee no. in the village. When you do good policy, is dealing with problems. When you do policy with Kenya Power, they will start realizing the profit, not negative, the one I'm seeing. When you do po good policy in the Ministry of Health, there will be no fake tender, tender uh, awarding. Mm -hmm. they, <laughs> so, project ni Adam, lakini mm, 12 million mm -hmm. has been used on towels. Towels, you see. Mm -hmm. You see, when you do good policy, everything will be managed well. So I went for policy because my life was composed of a lot of challenges and problems. So I wanted to solve problems with the society. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. <coughs> I'm having a, a difficult time trying to, eh, his story is overwhelming me a little bit, but I also kind of try, want to translate it to you, to your situation, to whatever kind of circumstance that you're in, if you're about to give up, even if it's not as serious as what we're discussing today. I don't think giving up is, when someone decides to give up, let me use it as a question, when someone decides to give up, what do you think is going through their mind? like suicide now they've reached the end mm -hmm. what they want is to kill themselves mm -hmm. mostly that's what happened mm -hmm. when someone has decided no i'm not going to this and to do this anymore mm -hmm. this is my end the next thing is there they're going to kill themselves you see and i have this understanding that mental health is very important and i'm really glad that you've you've known about mental health for a very long time this is not mental health drive who and all these things and just the other day we were uh, celebrating suicide prevention day how do you come when you call yourself for a meeting you know, they look up, see, 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 i'm going to stop why are you waking up in the morning why are you working so hard for this goal is this goal better should we change goals altogether? Like, how do you speak to yourself? Because the person you spend the most time with is yourself. So what did you tell yourself during this journey, this 14, 15 year journey? First of all, uh, I wanted to change the narrative because most of our elder siblings, they never stepped in high school. So it was the, the talk of the village, you see? So I wanted to change that narrative. So I was speaking to myself uh, uh, that one time huh, the society will know that uh, from nothing huh, there is something. Faith manifest. Mm -hmm. That faith oversees you are planting and manifest and grow and have the branches where the birds, yani noon in day, when I saw a nest, saw. So one time or sooner I'll be supporting the the needy student wow um, look at you i'm, um, I'm working uh, to i'm working to, to to start a 
and then it is in a process wow. very soon we will be launching it mm -hmm. it is concerning education fund and incubation mm -hmm. so i think uh, this one also i will be giving back to the society yeah. you see for well, to to yani my whatever my tag mm -hmm. i don't want anybody to went through what yeah. mm -hmm. to go through what i went through mm -hmm. it was very terrible i faced a lot of humiliation i was abused I was accused of doing this and this falsely because I am poor. I was done so many bad things. I was I was profiled mm -hmm. because of it, because of poverty. I don't have a good uniform. I don't have good clothing to maintain myself. My friend ran away from me because I had nothing to offer. I'm repeating, people are running, going forward, it seems I have stagnated in one direction, rotating in my, my own axis, you see. Mm -hmm. So what are you saying that, ah, no, I'll change this narrative, and I'll change, I'll change. Mm -hmm. I'm remaining with one exam around me. Look five, at five you. <laughs> <to graduate. laughs> so Go. because of, I would have graduated this year, mm -hmm. just because of Corona now. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting upon the Lord mm -hmm. for that time to come. And I hope it will come soon. Mm, not even COVID-19 can stop your reggae. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can. It can <laughs> because I've been through a lot. This COVID-19 was just from March to this time. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. Duration hey. 14 years. Ah. 14 years. He always got my hope it's going to rub off a lie. Good thing he hey. was not a girl. Imagine if he was a girl. Imagine. Oh. Imagine it was a girl repeating. So you get quarter and get quarter not to come out to you. At our name, imagine if he was a girl, all those challenges. A girl child that keep it here. So one more thing. And any time you may sharaka leo. Nimi yama ni ni. What's going on? Anyway, I was going to ask a question, which I think is is the root. Is the root of all these giving up things or, or thinking about committing suicide or having suicidal thoughts is finding your purpose. Where were you? Like you found your purpose very like, and that is a gift that not many people have. Mm. Mm. Yes, I yes, yes. I also quite struggled with finding my purpose. But how do you start finding your purpose and how do you know that you found it? Because once you find it, you know mm -hmm. that's why you were put on this here. Where are you going? Why are you running? How do you, how do you look for your purpose? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, have meeting. Because I'm a little bit of 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 my story was different with these other people. I know there are some people, and I've seen some of my friends even have committed suicide. So I want to say one thing for you. <sighs> Think of uh, that needy person in the street begging for food. Mm -hmm. You, you are not begging for food. God has blessed you. You have gone to school, or you have, you have some skill somewhere. You can do something. Pick something and do. God will manifest that one and it will expand that one. Never give up. Don't think of suicide. Your life is very precious. Biblically, we should live 70 plus, 70 plus years. Your life is very precious. There's no condition which is permanent. Yeah. The bigger the challenge, the bigger the blessing. When you are challenged by being laid off, you will be the manager of that person who will send you away from the world. Mm -hmm. Establish something to do, have something to do, because God is blessing what is in your hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not biblical to say that uh, uh, God helps those who help themselves. No, I am not for that. Mm -hmm. uh, what I know, try and do something in your hand. Mm -hmm. God will manifest that one and it will be a blessing to somebody. It will be a blessing to a widow. It will be a blessing to an orphan. Mm -hmm. It will be a blessing to a gentleman who has a family to take care and he has just been laid off because of Corona. Mm -hmm. So, have that courage and God will lift you up. Yeah. yeah. And always don't, don't isolate yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk with people. Talk. Share your problems. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You'll find help. Yeah. 
a problem half half what a problem shared is a, a problem, problem half, half solved. solved yes actually so your so problem you will be off the hook of yeah. mm -hmm. mental illness mental stress depression when you share your problem and two also listen to me soft gospel music heal your soul mm -hmm. heal your mind and you, it will encourage you mm -hmm. that is a preacher it is a counselor and it was a counselor to be mm -hmm. i am i have a testimony and I can attest that, if not for gospel music, listening to soft gospel music, I would have given up a long time ago. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, so if, if I may just read a couple of more um, of your thoughts from our Facebook page, that's at White 5 on Facebook, but also again at White 5 channel on Twitter, the hashtag is Wine the Morning. We have a Richie WCB, Amenita to Valentine. Yes, Richie, good morning. Good morning, and we have Janet. Good morning, Janet. Relationships, you mess uh, with me, I walk out. <laughs> Kazi, because of bills, you have to be patient with what you see or hear. Maombe ni sure, but hey. Please note today we've not talked about relationships, boy-girl relationships. It was part of the question, yes, but I think we had a bit more a heavy thing to discuss. Alice Mwinde says, I'm Alice from Radio One. I should not give up. You should try many, many, no, try, try many times. For instance, prayers, you can pray for years, even if you see God is not answering. Excuse me. God is wanting to see your faith. And also the best time ooh, to give you what you pray for, for years. Also, um, or giving up means losing. We have um, Ryder. Hey, Ryder Motom says, Kitui County is watching. And we have another message that came to me. Private Ray. Because imagine giving back to a society which didn't give you, but denied you. This is the meaning of selflessness. Okay. I wish there was a good book. Ah, the uh, World Book of Guinness Records. I'm doing Guinness a book, book, I'm of doing World a Records. book documentaries uh -huh. of my life. Uh, eh, eh, eh. I'm writing books and uh, I think uh, I'll launch it soon. Uh. I love it. Your person up with Ah, yeah, 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 about my life. I'm so happy this story has a happy ending. I'm really, really glad. And I'm only, I'm guessing, not I'm guessing because I don't know, I'm guessing it has a happy end because you, you waited, yeah. you persevered. Let's be here. Although, I do, again, I don't see myself doing all that, yeah. but I hope pia munajwa mungu yu kupati ya kituneza manage wewe mwenye ya kupange ya mtu mungine. Yeah, only what you can manage. Yes. So maybe in conclusion, uh, tell us what you think about giving up or encouraging someone who could give up a line raisi. What woman put as a kazi of your view COVID-19 is doing, doing what? Or maybe you lost a loved one, or maybe, you know, it's just hard to live a day at a time. Please encourage someone. Okay, when you want to give up, okay, what I can just say, remember where you've come from. Always remember where you started. You started with this one, now you are here. You don't have a job. In the past, you had that job. Remember where you came from. When you always want to give up, remember your background. That's what I can say. Always remember your background. Okay, yeah. and how would you put it in, in summation, in summary? Why should they not give up, even when it looks like they probably should? Uh, what I can tell somebody is that you are a blessing to yourself. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. According to the book of Jeremiah, God has a good plan for everybody. At the appointed time, it will, that time will come and it will be accomplished. You will be a blessing to uh -huh. the society. Don't give up. Pray. Work hard, and God will bless. I always say that God do bless what you have. Yeah. You cannot keep on waiting for manna from heaven, but try doing something. Yeah. I was repeating, trying doing something. That was what I have, and God lifted me through that. That way, you see, when you do something, God will lift you up. When you sit down and you start being depressed, nothing will happen. The Satan will steal you, mm. but we, we love you. We don't want you to be to be stolen. We want you to excel. We want you to be a blessing to the society. We want you to be a blessing to that orphan, to that widow, yeah. to that old person who has no one to support. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Be a blessing to the society. Do something and God will manifest in that. 
Oko karibu kuhubiri sasa wewe. I hope you felt that anointing. I really hope you felt it. Baba Yasir, good morning. How are you doing? It is good to have you on the show. At 254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag is why the morning. Nisi na quote za give up, aki sina. Nge tafta wisdom, lakini content ime imeisha. Tumeongea ya kutosha. But eh, nani, just we need you around. And be nice to yourself. Be kind to yourself. There are people who will not be kind to you. For free. For free. You might as well be nice to yourself. Yeah. We'll see you when you see us or in case we see you first. I don't know what I said, but what you should remember is that 2 p.m. we have a repeat of the show in case you missed an interview or you just wanted a kapat. You can go to at Wi-Fi 4 channel on YouTube. Again, it has been amazing. And please remember why in the morning runs all the way Monday through Friday. So we have sauce for you today, tomorrow, the next, as in we're just full of surprises, okay? You have yourself a fantastic day. Bye.